This is lesson 11 of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson is about Joomla menus and the topics are understanding menus, adding a menu item to an existing menu and creating a menu from scratch. This is the most popular lesson in this course as menus are the most difficult Joomla concept for beginners to understand. In this lesson, I'll explain how to create pages using Joomla menus. With a traditional website, you create pages, then create a menu with links to those pages. With Joomla, you start by creating content, as explained in the previous lessons. Then you create a menu containing menu items. Those items are used to create pages containing primary content you specify. Secondary content makes its way onto a page using a different method that is explained in the next lesson. If this doesn't already sound backwards, it will in a moment when you see an actual example. However, this approach provides a lot of flexibility and it will make sense once you get the hang of things. Let's now look at two possibilities, adding a link to an existing menu and creating a new menu from scratch. Have a look at the front end of the sample Joomla site. Let's add a menu item, that is a link, pointing to the article that was created earlier, in this second menu at the right. Log into Administrator and click the Menus menu, followed by Main Menu. The menu listing that appears displays the current items. Click the New button and enter the words that will appear in the menu, in the menu title box. Then, next to Menu Item Type, click the Select button. You'll see that there are various link types that can be created, but you'll mostly use the options listed under Articles. Click the Articles heading to reveal the options. To create a menu item that links to one article, click Single Article. The pop-up window closes and you return to the Menu Item Entry page. Now you need to choose the appropriate article by clicking the Select button in the Select Article row. A pop-up window appears displaying all of the articles. If it's difficult to find the appropriate article, you can use the filter options at the top as demonstrated in the previous lesson. Click the title of the article and you're returned to the main window. That's all the essential settings that need to be entered, so finish by clicking Save and close. Now jump over to the front end and refresh the page. You can see that the link has been added. And when I click on it, the article appears. The second method you need to learn is creating a menu from scratch instead of simply adding a link to an existing menu. Once again, start at the Joomla Administrator and go to the Menus menu and click the Menu Manager link. In this case, there are several sample menus that were created as part of the sample data. If you install Joomla without any sample data, there will be a single menu already created, the Main menu. Now click New and enter a name. You also need to enter a reference that is used by Joomla and this should contain no spaces. Finally, if you end up with several menus, then you might find it handy to include a description to help you remember what is contained in each menu. Click Save and Close, and you'll see that the new menu has been added to the bottom of the list. 
The next step is to create a menu item that lives inside the new menu, as was done before. Go to Menus, choose the newly created menu, and in this case, save a step by choosing the next option here, Add New Menu Item. Enter a title, click Select, Articles, Single Article. Then next to Select Article, click the Select button and choose the appropriate article. Click Save and Close. Now go to the front end and refresh the home page. And you'll notice that nothing's changed. Let's just recap what we did. The menus that came pre-installed as part of the Joomla sample data are here. They are secondary content items that have already been assigned to positions in the template. And there are various items in each menu. If you add a menu item to an existing menu, then it will immediately appear on the site. But when you create a new menu, it needs to be assigned to a position in the template. You need to learn how to create secondary content items and assign those items to pages. This is explained in the next lesson where I demonstrate how to create secondary content, or what Joomla calls modules. Here is a summary of the major points covered in this lesson. In Joomla, pages are created using menus. Creating a new page and adding a link to that page in an existing menu is easy. If the menu does not yet appear on the website, a menu module needs to be created.